One of the most important things you want to do when programming is to avoid repeating code too much. Let's say I have this program. So first, I create variable a, I initialize a to 2, okay, which is an integer, so a will be an integer variable. And then, as you can see, I do the same thing three times. So I multiply a by 3 on this line, on this line, on, on that line. So instead of repeating the code to triple the number every time we need to triple the number, maybe we can create a function that does just that. So then the code to triple the number will only be written once and we can use it anytime. So what is a function? A function is a reusable block of code that you can call from another part of your program. A function has a name and it can take some input parameters as well as return some values. Let's create a function here so you will understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to create a function at the very top of the program here. And to create a function, first you will need to use the keyword def. Okay, def to uh, define a function. After def, you need to give the name of the function. So as I told you with variables, you need to give meaningful names. So what this function will do, this function will triple a number. So let's just call it triple number, okay? With a underscore here, so we can have a space between the two different words. Okay, so that is the name of the function, triple number. Then we will add some arguments here, some parameters between parentheses. Okay, so that is the input parameters. And we want to triple a number, so we expect to receive a number. So you just give a name here for the input parameter. And then you add a colon. So every time you write a function, you need to do that. Def, the name of the function, the arguments you need to pass, and then a colon. And if I press enter now, as you can see, we have a new indentation, okay, which is here for spaces. So I'm going to come back to the indentation later on so you will understand why we have indentation in Python. And now what I can do here in that function is, well, I can use any instruction I want, okay? I can just put any code I want and do anything. I can change the variable. I can change the data inside the variable. I can print something. And finally, what I can do is also to return a value. So when you add the return keyword, you can see it has a special color here. So you can return a value. And when you return a value, let's say you return number times three. Okay. When you use the return keyword, the function will exit and will return whatever you have on the right here. So when I do triple number with the number parameter, what I do is I return three times the number parameter. So great, I have a function here. And now what I can simply do is use that function here, for example, triple number. Okay. I open up the parenthesis, I close the parenthesis, and inside I give a number. So let's give the number, number A. So instead of giving a number, I give a variable. Okay. The variable will be evaluated to uh, its value, which is here 2, okay? And then the 2 will be here assigned to number. So it's like we create a number variable inside that function, okay? And then we return the number times 3. So here the value will be 2. The value goes inside here. The value gets here and then we return two times three. So the return value will be here. When you call triple number A, this will be evaluated to the return value of the function. So here you will have six, and then you have B equals six. So 
the value here will be assigned to the variable b. Okay, so you can just now use that. Okay, and as you can see, the name here is very important because when you use the function triple number, you expect the number to be tripled. Okay, if I just did times uh, two, then it doesn't make any sense and you should have a double number function. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like that. So now I can, of course, run the program. Let's save as functions.py. So when we actually run the program, nothing is printing on the shell because of course we don't ask to print anything. Now I can, for example, do print, uh, print the variable B. Okay, check what's inside. And as you can see, we have six inside B. Okay, so now every time you need to triple a number, you can simply call that function anywhere. Okay, I can also do, for example, uh, here d equals triple number a plus triple number of c okay so i'm going to run the script and actually maybe i can print d instead of b and you can see that d equals 24 okay why 24 because we triple the value from a so a is 2 okay so we get 6 here and then we triple the value from the variable c. Okay, but the variable c was already using that function. So the variable c now contains six. Okay, and what we do is we triple number and now c is evaluated to six. Okay, so six goes there. Okay, and six times three is 18. And we have 18 plus six, which gives us 24. Now we can go even further. Let's say I create another function here that I call def print triple number. So that function will simply print the triple of any number. So in that case, what I can do is I can do print and then triple number so i'm calling a function inside a function okay and the value i'm giving it here is simply number okay this is the value you got from the parameter okay and i have to close the parentheses twice okay once for the print function and once for the triple number okay and now if i call that function here print triple number if I call it here with, let's say, B, I run the script and I can see 18, okay, because we uh, triple first A, we put the value inside B and then we triple B. And here, as you can see, this print triple number doesn't return any uh, variable, okay, doesn't return any value. So you can have two types of functions the functions that return something at the functions that don't return anything. Another example is, let's say I do def say hello, okay? And here I'm not giving any uh, parameter, okay? And in that function, I simply print hello. Okay, now I can simply call say hello and I will see that we have hello printed on the shell. So to recap, a function is a reusable block of code that you can call from any part of your program. It has a name, as you can see here. It can contain some input parameters, okay? It can contain one, but you can add many other parameters with a, a comma between each parameters, okay? Then you have colon and it can return a value or not. You can also call a function from within another function. Okay, so you can have 
a lot of layers between your function. Okay, you can have function A that calls function B that calls function C, etc., etc. And one thing to remember is, of course, to define the function. So to write the function before you actually call it. Okay, if I use say hello here before I define the function, then we will have an error. Okay, just like when you try to access a variable before you have created it. Okay, so first declare your function and then call the function. Okay, 